So, hello everyone. I am uh, Sylvain Bobo, and uh, this is Sylvain Achin, and today we're going to um, talk about Skydive, which is uh, an, analyzer, an analyzer for network topology and traffic. And so, uh, we cr created Skydive three years ago, um, and at the time we were dealing with uh, SDNs, many kinds of SDNs, and those are complicated beasts. They implement the network in very different ways. And uh, when you have to develop or uh, just use them, it's, uh, it's pretty hard to understand what, what they really do. So we had uh, a need uh, to, um, the first need we had was to be able, just to, s to, be able to see uh, what's, uh, what was the, the DN wa uh, SDN was doing. So in terms of topology exploration, and just to be able to visualize uh, what it was doing. Um, and uh, this, we also, uh, one of the primary use cases was, was to be able to troubleshoot it, uh, even in, in, on production machines. So um, we had to, 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 to have a way to, to capture network traffic and to analyze it, to see what's going on, why, why packets were dropped, or uh, many different issues. Um, as I said, we, we are dealing with different SDNs, so we, we didn't want to have a solution that, that is tied to one sp particular uh, SDN. So we want it to be agnostic, whether it's uh, OpenStack or Kubernetes or you name it. Um, we had to be able to do this in real time. So as I said, maybe sometimes in production machines, but, um, so, but also um, after the problem happened, so we ha we we wanted to have a solution that uh, that would allow us to to analyze uh, an issue in the past. So sometimes you have an issue with a VM, and then it des you destroy it, and then you have no way to s to see what what was wrong at the time. Uh, we wanted a lightweight solution, but like everyone, <laughs> um, and we wanted to to have something easy to deploy. Uh, because uh, on production machines you don't have to, you don't want to, to install a lot of stuff, um, and yeah, um, that's a, we wanted to event based. I don't know what. You, okay, so so, so we came up with uh, with um, this architecture. So at the bottom you have the agents, which are SkyDive agents. So they are they need to run at the, uh, as close as possible to to the physical machine. So typically they would run on your uh, compute nodes of your, of your cloud or the uh, of your Kubernetes uh, nodes. And so, uh, so those agents uh, collect the topology um, locally and then they forward uh, everything to another kind of component, which is the analyzer, which can be located every, uh, out of the infrastructure. And, um, and those analyzers are replica replicated together, so we have uh, high availability. Uh, we also support uh, load balancing because, because, because the agents are connected to multiple analyzers. Um, and so you can see here that the, 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 the data model that we used uh, to, to store this topology is a graph. And so um, this, this graph is event based so we try to to not use polling so we when we get information from the different subsystems we try to use uh, uh, to subscribe and to get events from them um, it's a it's it's a pub sub mechanism so you can you can have uh, you can write your own clients and just publish to the to this graph or you can even subscribe to this so you get uh, you get the events uh, on, on on this graph so what happened you can have those events through uh, web sockets. So the web UI that we have uh, is using this, me this mechanism. And then you get all the, the events, so the, the, node, the node creation, the updates, the delete, and everything. And, um, and for every modification on this graph, we, we, keep the uh, we keep the revisions of every graph modification. So we are able to rebuild the graph at it, as it was uh, at a certain point in time. And so, where do we get all these uh, topology informations? Well, from uh, everywhere we can. Uh, we use Netlink uh, for, uh, like, to get information from the inter uh, network interfaces, to get the metrics, the routing tables, the FDB, 
Uh, we also have, uh, I won't go to, uh, to through all of those, but uh, the main one, the OpenV switch, and many SDNs are using OpenV switch, so you have out of the box if uh, you have uh, support for many SDNs. Uh, we get also information from, uh, from physical uh, machines we are through LLDP. Uh, we have probes for Libvirt to get uh, the information from, from the, for our VMs. Uh, we have a Kubernetes probe. We get. We also have Docker integration, so you, you can see all the all the, your, your Docker uh, Docker containers. Uh, we also have a like, com completely unrelated uh, network uh, uh, probes, which uh, one is the block device. So you can you can uh, you can get information about the the disk on your on your systems and stuff. And um, yeah, and that's pretty much all. Uh, all we have for the topology, we had a, a demo, but for some reason we, we are not able to demonstrate uh, to demonstrate it. So, uh, so that was the topology part, and, and now Silva uh, is going to talk about the, the network uh, flow uh, part. Okay, okay, yeah, perfect. Uh, so now we have a, we have a way to build the, the uh, to have a view of the topology of the network topology. So every interface is a bridge and router and stuff like this are mapped to a, a topology view like a graph. And what we wanted to bring in is to to bring the ability to start packet capture for troubleshooting, monitoring, or stuff like that. Uh, so we implemented uh, on top of the topology view uh, a way to to do uh, distributed packet capture. So you, with, a, with a simple API call, you can express that you want to capture, to start packet capture on different interfaces uh, in the topology. Uh, we do support multiple uh, methods for that, uh, and de depending on the use cases you want to address, uh, some of them uh, brings a lot of metrics and like and capabilities like TCP, fragment, defragmentation, and stuff like this. Uh, some of them are uh, more efficient for uh, yeah, sorry. It's more efficient for um, uh, uh, every number of of packets. Uh, we we can write we, when we start a capture. You can express that you want only few packets, like uh, uh, playing with the BPF filtering mechanism. Uh, and we do support L2 and L3 flow tracking. Uh, tunnels are supported too, meaning that then we do support GRE, uh, VXLAN, MPLS, GNV and maybe some others. Uh, the goal of this is uh, when you have an overlay and you want to track the traffic of a container or a VM, and um, even within a tunnel, and, uh, you, you can do this with Skydive. Uh, what we do, in fact, we generate, when we, th when we see that uh, a packet is going to be embedded in a, in a, in a, in a tunnel, uh, we split the packet in two parts and, and we generate two flows within the, within the system. Uh, we don't keep the packet uh, themselves, in fact, that's possible, but that's not the main goal of Skydive. What we do, we, we take the packet and we generate uh, a, f an, uh, a flow table. I can show you maybe the, yeah, here. So here you have the probe at the bottom, but uh, that's that topology bot, uh, probe or flow probe. And, and what we do, we, we, we generate a flow table uh, within the agent, and then time to time the packet are forwarded to the, f the flows, generated are forwarded to the analyzer and then to the data store. Uh, so that's basically uh, how we do this. So finally, uh, the, the, the size of the of the data within the agent is pretty low regarding the uh, the original um, traffic size. Uh, so so now you, we have a way to to generate packets, to generate full, and and we want to export them. So you, with Skydive, you have multiple ways to consume the packet, the folds generated or the packet generated. Uh, one of them is to, to start a capture. Uh, so you write uh, your expression uh, matching multiple interface, for example, and then you, you say, I, I, want to, I want to have the packet uh, going outside of Skydive, or the Skydive scope. So, so we do support SFlow, NetFlow, and ERSpan. Uh, and you can do this for all the interfaces that you, you see on the topology. So meaning if you want to export uh, the flow that you capture on, a, on a, an interface within a container, that's possible. Uh, all the flows and the metrics are stored in a, in a time series database. So if you want to, 
uh, to do calculation on that, you can. Uh, we we do have a uh, the way to subscribe to to, to the to the flow bus. So meaning, when the agent forward the flows to the analyzer, you can you can write a, a subscriber to the analyzer, and then you will get the flows. And that's useful if you want to to write your own uh, flow. Uh, process. Uh, we do have an example where the flow are captured and then converted to a VPC log format. Um, and and when you when you want to recreate the, the flows, you, you use the exact, the exact same uh, language that you use for the topology. So here that's just to retrieve uh, the uh, the traffic for uh, the HTTP, HTTPS traffic for a Docker container. Um, and now, now we have a way to inject packets. We may want to generate packets in order to do to generate specific trace or specific troubleshooting, or also in order to get specific metrics. So we do support ICMP, TCP, UDP. There is also a way to inject uh, already generated PCAP trace, uh, for example. Uh, that so uh, you can write long-running packet injection. So you can say, I want to have ten. 10 packets or uh, 100 packets, and you can define the rate, for example. That's useful if you want to generate a ping mesh, for example. So, so here, that's an expression, um, an API call that you can do, and it will generate a ping between all the VATH, and 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 then you will get the the RTT reported, and you can grab them, uh, you can grab the information if you want. And there is all also a, a way to. To not give a file, but uh, to have a socket where you can you can inject uh, pickup traffic, and then it will be uh, injected within the the skydive uh, infrastructure. So it was it was a, an overview of uh, the topology um, information retrieved and the flows, and and on top of that we do have more. So there is a way to do alerting. So you write an expression matching. A flows or a topology uh, in information, and then you can trigger something like a, a webhook call or a, um, an execution of a script, uh, something like this. Uh, we, you do have a way to to write a workflow like, uh, uh, okay, I want to start a capture, then I want to check some metrics. Finally, I want to stop the captures. I want to trigger uh, something uh, with this. If you want to play with it, uh, we do have a Golang Python client. Uh, we do have a, a non-civil module. So if you want to deploy your infrastructure and uh, do something on top of that, uh, injecting some information within Skydive, you can use the non module. Uh, there is a way to, pl to, to add plugins. So we have a CollectD plugin. So you can get all the metrics reported by CollectD and inject them to Skydive uh, as a metadata. And in order to consume the matrix, uh, we do have a Grafana data source. Uh, so basically, you, you use the exact same query language, and you will have, for example, the RTT reported, or more. Thank you. You, you do have a more. I invite you to, to, to look at the, the website, especially the last line, which is the, the new version of the web UI. Um, yeah, and I think that's it. Thanks. If you, if you have questions. So, 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 yeah, I didn't say that, but, yeah, yeah, to, to, yeah, yeah, I'm going to repeat the question. So the question uh, was, uh, we are storing the information within the dat uh, time series database, and which one? So that's optional. You, you, it's not mandatory to store anything. By default, you can start SCADEC without any database, and you will have real time, but not the post small time stuff. And for the time series, it's not a real time series database. We are storing that in the form of a time series, and we are using Elasticsearch. And there is another backend which is Orion DB, but I will ad advise to use Elasticsearch. Yeah. Another question, maybe? No? Okay, thank you. Okay.